Morning everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you my number one tip to be productive across the entire Microsoft Office Suite. The Microsoft Office Suite is a staple of productivity, but every month, every year, every week, it seems, they're getting more and more features, which is amazing, but it also means it can be kind of confusing to keep on top of everything. So in this video, we're gonna go through my number one tip to make sure you're more productive across the entire suite. But if you really wanna unlock your productivity, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my tips and tricks. And with that being said, let's get into it. So I've opened up a template Word and Excel document, and where I want you to go is up the top above your ribbon, you can see that it says search. You may have noticed this option appear for an update. It used to be called tell me what to do, but if you've never used it, from today on I think it's gonna be your new best friend when using the Office Suite. So essentially, what this does is any option, action, or function that you wanna do in the Microsoft Office Suite, instead of knowing where it lives, you just go into the search option, and tell it what you want to do. So for example, I've got some text here, and I want to make it bold, but I don't know where the bold is. I'm just going to search, and start typing in the word bold. B, O, and you can see as I start typing, it gives me suggestions. B, could it be I'm trying to add bullets, or borders and shading, or a bookmark, but no, I'm looking for bold, so I continue typing. So you can see here, the best action for B-O-L is bold. I select that, and the text is now bold. What if I wanted to insert a photo at the bottom? Again, I just go search, type in insert, and as I start typing in insert, is it looking for an object, checkbox, a page section? No, I'm gonna keep type, typing, or I can just delete that and go straight to the word picture, and it's gonna say insert picture, compress picture. It's gonna give me all these different options. I wanna insert a picture. So I'd select that, it takes me straight to my file explorer. Any function or feature you're looking for in the ribbon here, you can find using search. If I jump over to Excel, I've got a whole bunch of text which I want to convert into a table. So I've selected it, and instead of looking for the format table option, I'm gonna hit the search option and start typing in table. So you can see here it's gonna say, do you wanna insert a table, format, format this as a table, fill the colors, so let's make it nice and pretty. Let's go for green, and yes, and you can see we've now converted that into a table. So what if I now wanna convert the amount into dollars? Well, I go up to search again, I type in the word dollar, and it's gonna give you a list of actions and best action. I know this best action of dollar isn't actually what I'm looking for. What I want is the account number format. So I'm gonna select account, and do I want it in euros, or I want it in pounds, or I want it in Chinese, or English Australian, let's go English Australian, and now you can see that it's converted it from static text into Australian dollars. What if I wanted to do something like remove the duplicates? So you can see we've got two mums, dad, Kelly, another mum, two more Kellys. What if you want to remove the duplicates and you don't know where that function is? Again, I go to the search option, I start typing in remove, and you see here, remove duplicates. Hit that. Now we only want to remove the duplicate name from the buyer because I can tell you it's the only duplicates there. And I'm gonna go select, and you can see here that we've gotten rid of the duplicate mum, dads, and Kellys. So that is my number one tip to be more productive across the Microsoft Office suite. If you're looking for a feature, function, or action across Office, why don't you try the search option next time? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other content you want me to cover. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.